Howdy friends, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm here in this echoey, echoey church. Um, I had some guests earlier today who were doing a bunch of, uh, shall we say, maintenance work. So thank you to Mason, and Jeanette and Charlie and Henry for coming in to help with some of our worship and taking care of the building just in general. Um, it's been an odd day with the weather, hasn't it? Um, poor little Hannah just wanted to get out and play today and there's just been, well, zero chance. As I sit in the church earlier, I actually had to stop recording because the wind was blowing so hard I could hear the branches creaking from outside. I don't know what's up with that. So some of you may be wondering, you see me probably in the same sweatshirt all the time. Um, Hannah asked me this morning when I left the house, are you going to wear that again, Daddy? And the answer is yes. This is my favorite sweatshirt and I wear it a lot. It got me thinking about those items. Sometimes clothes, sometimes it's I don't want to call it a lucky charm per se, but something that you have that just kind of you toss on and it makes you feel better about life. Um, pajama pants, sweats, jeans, sweatshirt in my case. You know, there are those pieces that we do to comfort ourselves when things don't seem to be working as well as we like them to. Uh, I've been working really hard personally about not turning to food every single time I get stressed or anytime I want to just eat. I've been working really hard at that. Uh, and so I turn to my sweatshirt. And I also, as you've probably heard me say before, turn to some music, throw on some very specific tunes, throw my sweatshirt on, sit on the couch with my little girl, and everything seems to be all right with the world. I hope you've got some of those things, whatever they happen to be. Do you? Do you have something in your life right now that you can just cling to and feel like regardless of what else is going on in the world, it's going to be okay. I hope you do. I know as I've been prepping worship things for this coming week and trying to get care of some things for the coming weeks just so I'm not driving back and forth and back and forth in this empty church, I think about those things in this place that give me comfort. Um, as you can see behind me with the altar and all that kind of stuff, but there's this table right behind me. And I really, honestly, at first thought it was a little silly that I was feeling sentimental about a table. Um, regardless of the just delightful person it reminds me of in particular, uh, which is a good feeling, but not the point. But that communion table, that one where we come and break bread and share cup together, has a deeper meaning because it is a way that we, as a community, stay connected. Um, not physically, not somehow emotionally and spiritually are we somehow bound because of bread and juice or wine, but because we choose to be together. We choose to be a community. We choose to partake in the elements. And in that choosing, we proclaim to our congregation, to the world, that we choose to follow this crazy man named Jesus who would have us live a little bit differently than the world would say that we live for others and not for ourselves. So I look forward to the time where we can walk up to the table. I can see your smiling faces. I can hand you a wafer or a chunk of bread. You can take a swig of your juice or your wine in a very, very small cup, and we can celebrate being together, together as one family. So until we talk again, folks, I hope you have a delightful day. You stay dry and safe, and I will see you soon.